Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for whenever it resonates in June, okay? There's no timing on this one. And this, we're gonna get another one, see what comes up. What do we have for Scorpio? Oh, there it is. Scissors, disappointment in some affair, quill, get back to the basics. You need to get back to the basics. Scissors usually cut. Well, that's what they do, right? So you're probably going to need to cut something out. You need to get back to the basics in some arena of your life, and you may have to cut something out. There is a disappointment, if, and you know what it is. And you're going to have to cut it. You are going to have to cut it. Okay? That's just the way it goes. Okay? Um, you're going to have to cut something out so that you can get back to those basics. What do we have for Scorpio? Sagittarius? Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, I'm not sure, but Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, which is the planet of luck. So typically when you get this card, I would consider it good luck. Um, could also have something to do with the Sagittarius uh, season, which is December. It's the end of November into the beginning, well, to the middle of December. Um, I think December 21st is when it changes, I think. Anyhow, I think it's November 22nd to December 21st, but don't quote me on that. But anyhow, um, Sagittarius, something to do with Sagittarius season, and you may be dealing with a Sagittarius, or there's some sort of luck here that is coming to you, because that is the Jupiter, is the planet of luck. Um, I think that you need to set your sights higher as well. You know, set your aim a little bit higher. Maybe you have your, your I don't need any more of these. Maybe you have your sights set a little too low. But this says get back to the basics, which is interesting. Uh, but for some reason, I wanted to tell you that. So there's got to be a reason for that. What do we have for Scorpio? A mother's love. Something to do with a mother. And I just got chills. A mother's love. A mother's love is reaching out to you at this time and holding you close. She knows how much you miss her. <laughs> chills are strong. And wants to remind you that this special bond of love can never be broken. So... Something to do with a mother's love. Ugh, the chills are so strong. So there is a motherly love around you. A mother is reaching out to you. Uh, she knows how much you miss her and wants to remind you that this special bond of love can never be broken. Now, this could be a grandmother. It could be somebody that was like a mother to you that has passed away. It could be somebody that actually mothered you. It doesn't have to be your mother in this this uh, physical presence, you know. It could it not might not be your biological mother. This could be your biological mother. But there is a mother that is, is, is sensing your needs in some way. She's guiding you. Um, I feel like you need to sever ties with something because of those scissors. And I think that you're struggling to do so. So, um, what do we have for Scorpio? Something about setting your aims a little higher. I keep seeing it again. You need to set your aims. I don't know, maybe you're dealing with a Sagittarius that is a fighter that fights with you a lot. Something like that. Um... Or maybe you have a Sagittarius in your future. 
I don't think so. I don't think that's what it is. I mean, it could be, but I don't think that's what it is. I feel like you need to defend yourself in some way. You need to protect yourself, and that may be using those scissors and cutting somebody out. Page of Wands. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So that is taking action. It is a new adventure. Um, finding your focus new vision, exciting opportunity, death, death, death is an ending, death is the end, it's a separation or a loss, it is a profound life change, you're going to be receiving some news, okay, you're going to be received because the pages are messengers, you're going to be receiving some news that changes your life, okay because that death card is uh, a change okay and it may have something to do with a child maybe maybe you maybe this has to do with a mother that has passed away that changed your life but anyhow in death there is new life because that that page of wands is a new life I mean, it is. It's a new beginning. Pages are new beginnings. They are. It's an, there's an exciting opportunity to start fresh here, um, to go on a new adventure. You know, uh, just go for it. This is exciting. You know, you're gonna. You are. It, it feels like you're going to be receiving an, an offer or an invite that is exciting. You know, but it may maybe maybe it, it may require travel or it's going to require change change of some sort. Death is your card. And the page, a page of wands is typically sudden. So this could be a sudden ending. You know, you may be experiencing a very sudden ending. Um, and there's a hit here. So I don't know, because when I see this, there's like, you think of the arrow, you know, the uh, archer, you know, there's like a bow and arrow here. That, that, that arrow is going to be let go. There's a hit of some sort. So maybe, I don't know if there's a fight or what kind of hit this is, but I feel like this will, is going to lead you in a new direction towards a new life, okay? I feel like you're traveling towards a new life. This is a transformation. I feel like it is an, a very sudden change. You're going to be experiencing a sudden change. Four of Wands in reverse on the bottom. That is a, this isn't fun anymore. This is, this party is over. Okay, this is messy. It's time to clean up this mess. It's a messy situation. It's, a, it's something to do with your home or your foundation, maybe where you live or whatever it is that you're committed to. This is the end of a commitment. There's no happiness there. Um, it's over. Okay, the party is over. The fun is over. The games are over. Now it's time to clean up this mess. So I feel like we have a messy situation here that it's time for you to go. It's time for you to go. Um... Oh, now I just shuffled and it came out upright. So in your future position is the four of wands. That is happiness. That is that is extreme happiness in the future. But it comes after some sort of ending of a messy situation. So you are involved in a messy situation. There is a mother around you, okay? There is a mother, a mother's love around you. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. This is somebody, or yeah, Taurus or a Libra. This is somebody that, is, that it offers unconditional love. This is the goddess of love, right? Uh, she loves you unconditionally and she's guiding you towards happiness. And that's exactly what we have here. Your mother is guiding, and the chills just came back. So your mother is guiding you towards happiness. They want you to see. Your mother wants you to see something. Um, it's time for a change. It's time for this to end. You, you should be happy. Some of you, are, there could be news of a child. You know, there could be news of a, of a new child. And I don't know if you believe in past, in, um, past lives but there could be you know so we usually come back I don't know why I'm telling you this in the same family circles and we may come back as a child like for example you know um, I had a past life regression and um, it was by a master hypnotherapist that was certified by Brian Weiss and he's like the master okay if you've ever read his books and in one of them my son 
my middle son, was actually my mother. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is that if somebody has passed away, they could come back as your child, you know? So anyhow, I, there's something to do with that, okay, or a grandchild or something like that. There is a birth here or a pregnancy, I believe, that you may hear news of, or this is the birth of a new life, creating a new life. Endings lead to new beginnings. You do have a beautiful, absolutely, positively beautiful new beginning here that leads to a happy commitment, marriage, um, whatever. So, very engagement. I, I also feel like you, um, you're going to be receiving some happy news but it comes after uh, an ending, okay? There's an ending here, but that death card is an ending. You can't pretend that it's not an ending. It is an ending. It's an ending. That's Death is death. Death is real, okay? It's real. Death is a, it's a real ending, okay? It's time. It's time for a change. It's time for you to end. This is a painful separation, typically. It's, it's, it is. I mean, death, when, any, when anything ends, it's usually difficult, okay? Um, but there's a there's a blessing that comes out of this death, okay? There's because the Empress gives birth to a blessing, so we do have a blessing that is coming to you um, that is going to make you very, 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 very happy, okay? Because th this is bliss. I think that you're going to be you could be attending an, a get together very, very soon. You know, a reunion, a party, a marriage, an anniversary, or I, I hate to say this, but you could even be attending a funeral. Because death next to the four of wands, the four of wands is a gathering. Death is a a death. Okay, but this could, you know, there, I feel like you have guidance also from a family member. Obviously, I already said it. It's a motherly figure that has passed away that is giving you. This person is guiding you. This is this is this person is beside you. They're right, right, right beside you. Something between it about a child here. So I don't know if it was a child that lost a mother. Um, the mother is right here, right, 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 right here. And I feel like the mother is disappointed in the situation that you are in and wants you to get out of it. It's messy. It's not fun. It's not happy. It's not stable. You need to find your strength to get out of it, whatever it is. Um, King of Wands, Knight of Cups, and Eight of Wands reversed. So, um, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, action time, taking action. Knight of Cups, looking for love, offer of love, acting on feelings, expression of love. Then we have the Eight of Wands reversed, which is poor communication, no communication, no success, uh, not going anywhere. This is uh, miscommunication, going backwards, stuck. Somebody is needing to follow their heart. They need to listen to their intuition take action right now do it right now express your feelings i all express your feelings express your feelings stop procrastinating you're we have somebody here that is thinking about something a lot they're not taking action it's time to take action i do believe that there's there's some sort of uh stop with that eight of wands reverse, that, that's like no contact, no communication, no movement, um, no victory. Somebody is in a situation where it's like, there's a need to go after something more emotionally fulfilling where there's love, you need to go after where there's love, where there's reciprocation. I feel like you're gonna you're receiving a very heartfelt offer from somebody. Some of you may be getting a proposal, or you may be giving a proposal or something like that. There could be a possible engagement here. Somebody may be receiving a proposal or giving an a giving a proposal. But that eight of wands is right in the future and it is reversed, thinking about it. 
just not doing anything. There's no, there's no uh, movement here, which is very interesting. Eight of Wands reversed is no communication, no communication. Stop communicating with something. What do you need to stop communicating with? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Ah, that card flipped right over. I don't know if you can see it in there. It's the Three of Swords. I was clarifying the Eight of Wands reversed, okay? So that is heartache. It's pain. It's suffering. It's a necessary uh, separation, okay? It hurts. It's painful. You need to separate yourself from somebody that is hurting you. Okay, this person is, I don't know if they're saying things that make you feel like, uh, that hurt you, that affect your emotions. King of Pentacles reversed. You're dealing with somebody that is all about money. All they care about is money, 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 money. We have somebody here that is all about money. They're all about, they do things illegally. They break the law. This person is very cunning, very, very clever. Um, money hungry. All they care about is money. This is somebody that doesn't care about love, that, that isn't in it for a relationship. They're in it just for the financial stability. This is somebody that um, isn't very nice, uh, egotistical. You're dealing with somebody that is egotistical and it's heartbreaking. You need to stop dealing with this person. You need to move away from this person. Express your feelings. Go after happiness. Maybe you need to change homes. The Four of Wands can be a foundation. It can be a home. Maybe you need to create your own home. Start your own family someplace else. Um, death. This is the end of a situation. Endings lead to new beginnings. There's a messy situation that needs to be cleaned up. Action is going to be taken. You need to take action. I do believe you're also, you also have somebody around you that probably really, 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 really cares for you. And I feel like you should be going with this person. I feel like you have a father here, a father figure that is, um, if it's not a father, it could be a husband or a boyfriend or it's a masculine energy. It's somebody that probably is a, is a father. If it's not your father, this person's a father. I feel like this person is a narcissist of some sort. Uh, King of Pentacles, reverse. This person is egotistical, extremely egotistical, very much focused. And it could be a female. Um, this is somebody that is money hungry, money grabbing. All they care about is money, um, money, 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 money. And I feel like it's affecting your health. This is some, this is doing something illegal. You're dealing with somebody that is doing something illegal and you need to get yourself out of it. Get out of it. Stop. This is only going to hurt you. It's either a fire sign or a water sign or an earth sign. So uh, we do have the end of a situation. It is going to be emotional. Heartbreaking of some sort. Heart, because of the three of swords, that is heartbreaking. It's a heartbreaking separation. Uh, the end of a communication, going no contact with somebody. You, you're going to have to go no contact with somebody. And I feel like you got such a big heart, it's hard to do that. This is affecting your energy, okay? You need to find your strength and your courage and your confidence to take charge, to take the lead, to take the focus. You know, you need to take the you need to take the leadership position. It feels like you've given your power away to this money hungry individual who uh, isn't in it for love. This person is just in it for financial gain. So anyway, Scorpio, I feel like you have happiness around the corner. 
Um, but you, this happiness means that you're going to, the only way that you're going to have this emotional content and the relationship and the, the healthy relationship that you deserve is to stop contacting and stop communicating with this person that is breaking your heart. I can't make this shit up. And it feels like you keep trying to communicate. You keep trying to make it work with them. I don't know if it's a family member or, or it's a husband or a boyfriend or girlfriend or something like that. You or, or a father figure or something. Why do you keep trying to hurt yourself? I mean, you're allowing this person to hurt you. This person doesn't communicate with you very much. They don't give you what you need. There's no success. Okay? And it's it's painful. It's painful. And I think that your mother or this motherly figure that has passed away is trying to guide you towards happiness, but you've let this person uh dim down your value they've they they've they've made you forget what your worth is it's like they've stolen your value your self value your self worth take it back we have somebody here that is doing something illegal this is a messy situation you need to get your ass out of it. Somebody could end up in jail. Just being honest, I just saw these bars here. I think that you have a really, really, really big heart. And I feel like you're looking for love, right? You're looking for happiness. That's what you want, you know, that's what you desire. You have this vision of, you know, love and happiness and happily ever after, but you're letting somebody hurt you. It's time for you to end this. I mean, death is an ending. It is an end, and I feel like it's a sudden ending. There is, it feels like there's a sudden in ending here. And I don't know if this has happened already, you know, and you're still suffering, you know, your mother wants you to be happy. Stop allowing this person to hurt you. You have another opportunity for happiness right here. You absolutely do. And I feel like you're going to be receiving an offer, okay? An offer with that Knight of Cups. That is somebody that, you know, is sending you an offer, giving you an offer. I don't know if it's a, for, it could, for some of you, it could be a home, you know, because that Four of Wands can be a foundation, you know. But it will require you to stop allowing this person to hurt you and i and i feel like there's also you know it's like really heartbreaking it's like heart pain a lot of heart pain right here okay this is this is stabbed right in the heart hit right in the heart this hits your heart it really affects your heart there could be a, there could be a death around you just being honest where you know it really really affects your heart um It's time for you to go in a new direction. Whatever it is that is hurting you is over. Accept it as a loss. I hate to say that, but death is, you have to accept the death. You have to accept that it's over. Anyhow, you do have an, uh, you do have happiness. You have happiness around the corner, but there's a delay with that eight of wands in reverse right underneath it. There is a delay, and it's because it's, it feels like you keep on giving your big heart to somebody that just keeps hurting you over and over and over again. So anyway, Scorpio, I feel like this week or whenever this happens for you, I feel like you are going to be needing to stop communicating. Somebody could stop communicating with you. 
if you don't do it you could you because that eight of wands could be is no cut going no contact you may be expressing your feelings to somebody you want to have a relationship you know you want to get married uh, it could be a no answer i mean i don't know but it, it, this could be a separation the three of swords is a separation it is a heartbreaking separation next to the death card absolutely 100 percent. this is a heartbreaking separation but endings always lead to new beginnings and i definitely see a happy new beginning here where there's joy and there's bliss and there's love, but it... You got to protect yourself. Good luck.